Hello, I'm Phyllis Humby, and I would like to read an excerpt from my memoir, Hazards of the Trade. This is taken from the chapter, Fur Accessories. A service van pulled up across the street. My breath quickened. A plumber I'd once hired jumped from the driver's seat and entered a restaurant. I hoped it was a quick coffee break, not a leisurely breakfast. I kept lookout. Two heart-thumping minutes later, I saw him. A takeout cup in hand, he pulled on the door handle of his truck as his gaze swept the north side of the street. The moment he glanced towards my shop, I waved. Not a simple hi there wave, but a furious swinging of my arm. He hesitated, but then stepped up into his truck. I continued waving, shifting my body between the lingerie display so he could see me. He raised his hand briefly and remained curbside, watching me puzzled look on his face. Afraid of losing him, I hurried to the door and leaned out, motioning him to cross the street. His curious expression intensified. He got out of his vehicle and waited for the traffic to pass before sauntering over to my building. I wanted to shout, hurry, but instead I just gave a couple more frantic hand motions. Plumbing troubles, he asked as he walked through the doorway. His demeanor was casual, laid back, bored. I reached for his arm and pulled him farther inside. No, I was breathing heavy and fighting back tears. I have bigger problems than plumbing. We'd met only that one time before, and throughout most of that occasion, his head was inside the bathroom cupboard. Afraid that he'd bolt, I kept my hand around his forearm. Looking out the window, I continued, If a customer comes in, don't let on what we're talking about. I don't know what we're talking about. He looked wary. Did I try? Did I feel him try to pull away from my grasp? There's something in my basement trying to get out. The grates are moving. Though I was trying to sound calm, the pitch of my voice was decidedly higher. I think it's a rat. He chuckled. That's the worst thing he could have done. He'd gone from aloof to amused. I could feel my eyes bulging. I'll pay you, please. What can we do? Sensing my panic. He twisted his face into a look of concern. In hindsight, he was probably trying hard not to laugh. He asked for directions to the basement entrance and followed me to the storage room. Before opening the door, he scratched the top of his head as if in thought. You think it's a rat? He said. It's black and furry. It lifted the grate off the floor. My breathing was erratic. He walked back to the front sales area, but there was no sign of the rodent in any of the grates. Of course there wasn't. Do you have a net? I shook my head, still very much in panic mode. The sports shop will have one. Hurrying back from the cash register, I thrust money at him and said, could you buy one? Seeing him hesitate, I added, or do you want to stay here and I'll run up the street? The plumber looked around at the skimpy lingerie and bikinis on display. He gave a resigned sigh and snatched the money from my outstretched hand. And my time is up. I am so sorry. But if you want to find out what happened, please buy a copy of Hazards of the Trade. Thank you for listening.